Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Tiger here and today we're going to be going over the best classes for competitive ranked play as well as best kills for public matches in respawn game modes. Before I get into the video I just want to thank everyone for supporting the channel so far, I've only been doing YouTube a month and the growth so far has been excellent so thank you very much. So if you do want to support this channel please do hit the subscribe button as it will really help me out a lot. Okay, so let's get into the video. So first class is standard sub. So this is pretty much how my main my main class looks and a lot of my other classes all are very similar to this. So firstly, airborne. The reason why we're picking airborne is so we can sprint faster and for longer. So for a submachine gun class, it's really important to move around the map as fast as possible. Because if we're trying to get kills, we need to be in as many gunfights as possible. So being able to move around the map is what we need. Okay, so the gun. I've got the PPSH. Obviously, PPSH at the moment is the most strongest submachine gun by far. I know the new winter submachine gun, the Sten, has had some good reviews so far. I haven't really had much opportunity to play around with it so far. But PPSH, hands down, best sub. And that's what we saw at Dallas as well. So what I've gone for is standard grip and quick draw. For for me, they are the standard. They are the standard attachments that you need for for most guns. Quick draw allowing you to pick the gun up faster and aim down sight. Grip for the accuracy. So when primed got nerfed earlier, well with the previous patch, there was a lot of room for basic training and what to pick. Now with the grenades being very strong in this game mode, as we can't, we don't have advanced movement, so we can't get out of the way of grenades as easily as we could before. Hunker is very useful, as you can see here. Early grenade warning and take less explosive damage. Also, they've got a little bonus in there where if a grenade comes in, we, we it resets if we try and throw it back. So that's always great. But it's the less explosive damage what's really important. And that's why we saw we saw it a lot at CWL Dallas. And it is a very, very popular basic training. You'll see it a lot in this video. One thing you'll definitely see consistent through this video is the machine pistol with extended mags. There is no other secondary weapon that even competes anywhere close to the machine pistol. It is so good. It does so much damage. It can beat a lot of submachine guns and any other gun at close range if you are accurate with it. That's the only problem, the only downfall with the machine pistol is very ina inaccurate and with the small magazine size, extended mags is a must. I've gone for the sticky grenade over the cookable grenade as will be in shorter range gunfights so being able to throw a sticky is, is more useful I find. However, it's entirely up to you what you go for. So my next class is the ranged subclass. Now, I've, I've, what the difference is with this one is we've got advanced rifling instead of quick draw. So if we're on slightly bigger maps and we're in longer gunfights but we still want to run a submachine gun, advanced rifling is a lot more important as it increases the damage fall off at longer ranges. So quick draw is less important because quick because we don't need to aim down sight as fast but we do want that damage at longer ranged. So that's the only difference with this class. Next up is my primed submachine gun class. Again, very similar. We've swapped primed for hunker and we've got advanced rifling. So this is very this is very similar for the range subclass. You'll probably want one or the other if you're using this. Basically, getting rid of hunker means we're probably going to be in the objective less than we will be with those other classes. So it's nice to have that range with advanced rifling as well as have those two key attachments as well. For me, this class is perfect for ranked play, capture the flag. You've still got airborne, so you're fast. Unconspicuous allows you to have quieter footsteps. So now there is a 7.5 second delay on respawn. There are going to be less people on the map, so there's going to be a lot more sound whoring. So having those quieter footsteps really does help. However, you don't just need to use this on Capture the Flag. If you find that the game is quite slow paced and there are people sound whoring you, they can hear you, hear you moving around the map, this might be a class to pull out. Okay, so the aggressive subclass. Now I've picked the Sten. Now don't worry about that, you can pick any submachine gun. However, I've just picked the Sten for more variety as I know it is a good gun. The main difference here is we've gone for Hustle. So we've still got Airborne, so we're fast. 
Hustle allows us to reload faster and while sprinting. So the reason why this is an aggressive class, because if you're in a lot of gunfights and you're you'll be wanting to reload locks, you'll be shooting you'll be shooting more often because you'll be in more gunfights. So being able to reload more often allows you to have your gun ready to shoot people. So if you're if you're hanging around in the enemy spawn a lot, you like to go really deep into the, into the game. If you're playing team deathmatch or maybe an objective game mode, and you like to get to get in towards the enemy's base and spawn trap, having hustle can be quite useful. I wouldn't really recommend this for competitive. However, when you're playing public matches, there's where it's six v six. There's more players. Ha being able to reload more often and faster, having your gun ready more often, is always is always better. So this is an option. Okay, so now for the assault rifle classes. So the FG42 is the most popular and probably strongest gun out out there at the moment, in as far as the rifles are concerned. We definitely saw this all the time in CWR Dallas, the competitive event. There, th this was the main assault rifle being used, so that is why I'm showing it here today. Because at the end of the day, we want to use the best weapons, don't we? So I've gone for infantry. Infantry is very good for assault rifles. So all the four attributes for infantry are really important for this class. We've got the bayonet, so when we are in close quarter gunfights, obviously we're unfavourable against a submachine gun. So if we're really close, we can stab them very easily with the bayonet, so that's handy. Me personally, I don't like the iron sights on the FG42, so having the re having needing the reflex sight, having that additional primary attachment for me is a must, so that's really important. So so now I can use my three, my two main attachments, grip and quick draw, as well as having that reflex sight. So that's a really important, that's really handy in the infantry. You get those extra magazines. The magazine sizes are quite small. You can go through them a lot faster. And being an assault rifle player, you're going, you're te you tend to die less as you're at longer ranges. So you might need that extra ammo. Also, moving significantly faster while aiming down sights, so this is like stock on a lot of guns. This is very important and has been used in a lot of Call of Duty games and has been very popular. That's very handy as you will be aiming down sight and being able to move to avoid being shot is very handy. So all four of those attributes for infantry are, are very are useful for the rifle class. So we've got Hunker to avoid grenades. Now we've gone for the cockerball grenade as we want to be throwing it further, being at longer range gunfights with a rifle. As, the, as you'll find that's probably a bit more useful than a sticky with, with the rifle class. So this is my fast AR class, so if you, if you like to... If you like to get more in the action with, with the rifles, we've got airborne so we can move faster. I've gone for primed so I can still get that extra attachment that I need. A lot of you might find that's that's the same with you guys as well. Yes, primed gives that less flinch, but that's really not necessary and that's not why we're picking this picking that basic training. It's more for that extra attachment. My slow AR, so now we've got infantry and primed, so we're getting two additional attachments. With this I've gone for advanced rifling. So the reason why it's slow is because we haven't got anything that's boosting our speeds, like airborne, and we haven't got hunker, so we're not in the we should we're not going to be in objectives. We shouldn't really be getting grenades thrown at us. And advanced rifling again, having that extra range. So this is slow because this this is for more slow placed players, players that like to hold positions or camp, people that like to be in buildings and want to hold down areas. This is a lot more useful for players like that. So this is more of an alternative class for people that like to play the objective a bit more. We've gone for armored instead. We are picking armoured for the immune to shell shock and tactical equipment. So if people are throwing stuns, gas grenades, or there is there is shell shock, so that's when you get that blur from grenades or score streaks. That's that's why we're picking this. Less fire damage, so Molotovs, maybe a flamethrower, and the less explosive damage, very similar to why we pick Hunker. So that is why this is good for objective players. We've got Hustle so we can reload quicker because we're if we're in the objective we want to make sure we've got that gun ready to shoot and then we've got Quick Draw and Grip standard. The last but by all means not least is the Hardcore class. So this this one is for the Hardcore players out there, the very loyal the loyal fan base to Hardcore. I'm looking out for you guys. So for me personally, if you are looking to play Hardcore, this is the class for you. 
So most importantly, we've got the M1A1 carbine. So with hardcore, it's minuscule health, so you don't need a you don't need a fast gun, you just need to make sure you're hitting them and killing them. So quick draw, grip, and reflex sight, aiming down sight, we've got a nice reticle there, good long range. In short range combat, as long as you've got a good trigger finger, you can hit people, because at the end of the day, you only need to hit them once. We've got inconspicuous, so then it's silent footsteps. Without the hood, people are going to be relying on their ears a lot more, trying to sound whore, sound whore you a lot more. Infantry is just giving us those those benefits for an assault rifle. So get, we're having that extra attachment, so I can use my reflex sight. We've got extra magazines, so with hardcore, it's going to be a lot slower paced. So with this rifle, you might be not camping necessarily but playing a lot slower so you might need those extra magazines as you'll probably be alive a lot longer if you're playing it well obviously we've got the machine gun and the cookable grenade because we're going to be throwing it further as well so for hardcore players this one's for you Okay, so that's it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If there is anything I missed out, or if you've got a class that you're at that's absolutely killing it, please let me know in the comment section below, as I'll be really interested to hear what you guys are using, as I might test it out and see what I think of it as well. So please let me know in the comment section. Also, like I said at the start of the video, if you could subscribe, that will really help me out. That'll be a nice little Christmas present to me, so I'd appreciate that a lot. But that's it, guys. So I will see you in the next video. Take care.